What's up all you crummy marathoners out there? I hope that you're ready to learn about the triathlon, which surprise, surprise, I know this is all about marathon training, but I wanted to take on a new challenge and a challenge it was. So hey, if you're the type of person who wants to take on a new challenge or you're training for a triathlon and you have no idea what to expect, I think you're gonna find this video helpful. I'm gonna share what I learned on race day, some of the things that I had no idea about and uh, I'm also gonna just kind of give you a view of my day, a sort of a snapshot and, and what it was like. So let's jump into it. All right guys, so it looks like I'm flying solo to this triathlon. My two brothers bailed on me. Unfortunately, uh, Bryce's little girl got sick and Bennett had some other arrangements that came up. So no worries, I'll uh, take care of this one on my own. So right now I'm gonna start packing, get everything I need, and I'll show you guys everything I'm gonna be putting in my suitcase, getting ready to go to this triathlon out in Flagstaff. I think one of the most important things is preparation. Preparation is key. This is like anything else, right? But with the marathon, it's like you have shoes and you're fueling and a couple of other things, but there's not a ton to it when it comes to having equipment. But with the triathlon, there's so much. And packing for it felt like I was constantly panicked, like, oh, did I forget this, did I forget that? So um, I really spent a lot of time laying everything out, packing, double checking, triple checking, and making sure that I had everything ready to go. Flying solo, got all my stuff back here, my bike, my bags, let's go. Got my tri suit here, got my running shoes down there, my biking shoes, got my helmet, my hat, I've got all my numbers, so just a little bit about this because I learned something new today. This is going on the bike, so it's got some stickies on the back, it's going to go like that around the... Uh, Either, either the bike frame or the back, you know, where the seat goes. And then I bought this on, I think I just went straight to the Two Times U website, but you can also get this on Amazon, super cheap. But there are these racing belts and you can stick your bib right on there. The difference between this bib and a running bib is there's no chip on here. The chip is actually this foot band thing that you put on your left ankle and then that'll track you during all three, the swim and the bike and the run. So. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. Can't wait. Start to get a little anxious, a little excited, a little bit nervous, but mostly just excited to get rocking and rolling. Good morning. This is what my hair looks like when I wake up. <laughs> Had a hard time sleeping last night. Uh, super excited. Also a bit nervous. Started to set in that this is going to be pretty tough. So um, it's 4:30 and. I'm gonna try to get there pretty early. So race day came and the race started at seven o'clock, but I got there super early. I got there at like 5.30 because, you know, I, I just, I wanted to be able to observe people because this was my first time and I had no idea of what to expect. How do I set up my transition station? How do I lay everything out? And I got to chatting with a seasoned uh, veteran triathlete there and she shared something really cool with me that I thought I would share with you because, hey, this was something that I had no idea of. Uh, before race day. So um, she showed me this little magical bottle called Tri-Slide. This is not a sponsor by the way, but you know, this was something that came in handy because she said, look, if you spray this on your neck and on your arms and on your legs, that's going to help that wetsuit come off more quickly after you, you get out of the water. So um, it was absolutely helpful. I went out and bought my own bottle after she uh, showed that to me. So if that's something that you can pick up before race day, by all means, please do, because I think it's gonna help you tremendously. So let's talk about the swim, you guys. The swim was where I thought the whole thing was gonna come crashing down. The, within the first minute of that swim, I, I was ready to call it quits. It, it was, and I'm not a quitter, you guys. I, I just had this panic rush over me, like almost like I've never felt before. And, and I, I've tried to think about why that happened, I think it's just the, it was all mental. I mean, it was, there was people everywhere, a lot of commotion. I'm in the middle of this lake that's probably 20 or 30 feet, maybe even more deep. I can't touch the bottom. And just that weird feeling of helplessness really got to my head. And so what I learned was that, hey, if you just turn around on your back and you just float, don't just lay there though, kind of push yourself along so you're making some progress. That will help you get yourself under control, get out of your head and really just try not to think about it. Just almost like remove yourself from that situation and just swim, just keep swimming like Dory says. But just get out there, keep moving, make some progress because by the time you make it to that first buoy, 
and you're looking out at how far you've come, it's not that much further. And just know too, it's not gonna be forever. You know, it's, it's gonna take you, if it's an Olympic, like I did, it's gonna take you probably 35, 40, 45 minutes. You might even go faster than that. So uh, it's not gonna take you all day. Worst case, just float with that wetsuit. So that's what was my saving grace. I got to the end of it and I was like, oh, thank goodness. And I actually finished a lot faster than I thought I would. So um, that was quite an experience. But then it was time for transition to get off on the bike. Just finished the swim, I was crazy. Had a mini panic attack onto the bike. <laughs> so I took off my wetsuit as I was running over. I had a little towel there, I was drying off my feet. I put on my biking shoes and put on my helmet and my sunglasses and it was like this weird feeling of, do I just go? Do I need to check in with anybody? But nope, you just get on your bike and you go. What's up party people? On the bike. Doing good. It's really nice being wet. Going off this way. I might not be saying that 25 miles. So yeah, the bike was great, but I will tell you that one thing I learned was to really beforehand train for the environment that you're gonna be in. You know, this was a, a, a mountain event. It was, it's literally called the Mountain Man Race in Flagstaff. So. These hills are a beast. There's no hills like this where I live. Woo. So it was 7,000 feet, there were hills, and this is all stuff I never trained for on the bike. You know, in running, I had done some training like that, but for the bike, nothing so that would have been super helpful to me i felt like i spent way too much energy on the bike my legs were kind of shot afterwards so by the time i got to the run i was pretty tired and that was frustrating for me as a runner because you know that's supposed to be my strength that's where i'm really supposed to shine and and there were moments where it went straight uphill and i had to start walking because it was just I, I had no more energy left in me all right about point six into the run just under six miles to go bike was killer. Way more difficult than I expected. Moral of the story, I think for me, was really train for the environment that you're gonna be in. And I think most importantly, just have fun out there. That was a thought that came through my mind a few times, was just enjoy this experience. You know, this is a beautiful area. There's mountains and there's trees. And, and you know, at the end of the day, if it's your first, you're not gonna get out there and try to win the whole thing. I mean, there were people who literally finished an hour faster than me. Like. They've been doing this a long time and that's okay. You know, if this is your first triathlon, just go have fun and slow down because you're gonna finish the race. I mean, you're gonna do it. You're gonna get there, even if it takes you all day long, right? You're, you're gonna get there, have fun, enjoy the experience. And uh, I had a blast, you guys. This is something that I'm now super excited about because I can start to do triathlons in between my marathons. You know, my goal, if you've been listening to the podcast, is to qualify for Boston. That's always been my goal. It's something that I just, I, I'm really focused on. But, you know, triathlons are gonna be a fun in between to, to give myself a way to stay active, but also to cross train and to stay on top of my fitness. So I'm super excited about how this experience went. I absolutely loved it. Thanks to Mountain Man for putting on such a great race. If you've never done this, if you've never seen the state of Arizona or, you know, Flagstaff, it is absolutely gorgeous. And I challenge you to get out there, have some fun. And uh, hey everyone, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something new and we'll catch you next time. This is why I do it, right here. Taco Bell, guilty pleasure.